Cancer, autoimmune, HIV, Ebola, rabies. What do all of these words have in common? Well, they're some of the many diseases that can be treated with the power of the monoclonal antibody. Picture this. Imagine being able to recreate your body's ability to fight off some of the most deadly diseases of our time outside of your body. Welcome to the world of the map. But to begin with, let's talk a little bit about what antibodies actually are. Antibodies, or ABs, are immune system proteins that can be used to help clear or prevent infection. More specifically, they're blood glycoproteins belonging to the immunoglobulin superfamily, shortened as IG. There are five main isotypes, or classes of antibodies, IgG, IgA, IgM, IgE, and IgD. You can remember them with the acronym GAME. Another approach to preventing infections is to deliver monoclonal antibodies, or preparations of a specific antibody designed to bind to a single target, directly into people. Whereas polyclonal antibodies come from many B cell lines, monoclonal antibodies only come from one. The hybridoma technique, for which Georges Kohler and Cesar Milstein won a Nobel Prize in 1984, involves inoculating mice with antigens, extracting spleen cells, fusing these with cancer cells, and then growing up the immortalized antibody secreting B cells. These antibodies, further divided into numbered subclasses, each have different functions and ways of binding. They can attach to antigens to form an antibody antigen complex, attach to toxins and neutralize them, disrupt receptors, stop pathogens in their tracks through agglutination, or flag targets for effector cells like a highlighter. In the words of Dr. Sid Mukherjee, you could think of antibodies as intensely, exquisitely targeted missiles. Monoclonal antibodies can be administered in several different ways. Intravenously, or through a vein, like ibaluzumab or rituximab, subcutaneously, or underneath the skin, like adalimumab, or as a spray, like IgM14. Immunomodulators govern the activity of other elements of the immune system, either by enhancing existing responses or working to unleash new ones. Some, such as antagonists, work by blocking pathways and suppressing immune cells, while others, such as agonists, work by stimulating. Monoclonal antibodies come in many different flavors, unconjugated, conjugated with chemotoxins, conjugated with immunotoxins, bispecific T-cell engagers, or bites, and even more. Antibodies aren't perfect, however. Much like you hear at the ends of some pharmaceutical ads, these types of therapy may have severe adverse side effects, such as allergic reactions. Furthermore, like antibiotics, pathogens or cancers can develop resistance to these targeted therapies. Their complexity in manufacturing may result in financial toxicity, which can be just as devastating to patients as the drug's toxicity. Moreover, their complexity makes them difficult to distribute. But there, that's just a little bit about these types of treatments. Thanks for watching.